Good afternoon. My presentation is a way of uh, defending shortly an idea which is uh, very basic in a way and quite challenging perhaps in, a, a, in, a, in a, another way. The idea is that the home matters to migrants even more than to non-migrant people, that uh, through the studies of home, a new, better understanding can be gained of transnational migration at large, and that this can be worthwhile of a mm, relatively new research uh, 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 agenda in uh, migration studies at a theoretical, methodological, and practical level. Sounds very much, but I will try to find my own way uh, in this. Uh, my point is that uh, uh, migrants' uh, ways of homing, the ways in which they feel more or less at home in a given place, in more places, and uh, uh, behave uh, uh, accordingly, is a very local and specific matter on one hand, but it is also a universal matter in the sense that it can be uh, paralleled and compared and studied on a global scale, whatever the immigration system we are in, in, interested in. In this sense, this idea has, uh, I believe, a very strong uh, cross-cutting potential ac across di 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 disciplines, uh, across uh, research fields, uh, across migration si system, as long as we assume home not only and more obviously as a, as a place, or more than one place perhaps, but also as an experience relay that attach, uh, attaches to that place or setting a particular set of uh, emotion, relay, 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 relationships and practices. The question then is, how is it that all of this is affected by uh, migration over time? And what does this say on transnational relay, relay, relay relationships in uh, um, um, particular? So, the first point at a, at a theoretical level is to see that while home is a very slippery, a pantry warm, potentially uh, ideological uh, concept. It is also a very practical, in many ways, essential one. It can be uh, uh, appreciated uh, at many levels. It is both something real and something ideal. It's both a description of a given reality and a prescription, a normative set of values and expectations associated to it. The, the thing is, since whatever we mean by home has typically to do with some sort of belonging, root uh, uh, attachments, what is it that happens with it once people move over time? How and how far of it can be attached to different places over the life course and uh, re re retained uh, over it? And what difference does it make uh, in practice? Uh, Home then matters, first of all, because migration is at the very least, in the physical sense, a way of leaving home. And, as so much literature shows, a way of trying to recover some parts, some elements, some taste, sound, materials, or whatever, of what used to be home to the people who owned it somehow. The, the interesting thing for me here is that there is a lot of specific case studies on migrants' ways of feeling at home, or more often of not feeling at home, on the new houses, on remittance houses, and, and, and so forth, but there is still little comparative and theoretically founded uh, understanding on these issues, as far as I can see. An attempt uh, to advance this field can be uh, made by considering home not only as a, a place, or rather parallel, as a place and as uh, many people have uh, suggested to do, as a special kind of uh, relation with the place, as a way of, uh, of trying to appropriate a particular place by attaching to it a sense of familiarity, security, and control, or in trying to. So home as not necessarily only a condition, a state, but also, particularly for migrants, as a search, as something towards which uh, uh, people and migrants uh, try to move. Assuming home as a dwelling place results in a specific uh, research uh, uh, agenda relatively better known uh, that has to do with the housing tra trajectory as parallel to the integration tra tra trajectories uh, and so forth. Assuming home also as a multi sided process brings uh, to a more nuanced but still necessary, in my view, way of 
uh, approaching this field. The issue then has not only to do with home as an abstract idea, but also with homemaking, with the practices, with the attitudes, with the uh, emotion that people typically try to uh, articulate to bring some sense of homeliness to their life uh, circumstances. And uh, still more radically, perhaps, uh, my idea would be that of homing to try to make uh, uh, overall sense of the processes whereby people uh, express their views, their cultures, their representations of what home should be like, of the uh, emotions, security, warm, or whatever else that uh, they attach to what they call home, and of the practices that they follow to make, to try, more or less successfully, to make this uh, real. In other words, there is a matter here not only of place, of a particular setting, it may be a house, a room, a desk or whatever else, but also of uh, meaningful memories, emotions and uh, relationships that are uh, attached to it uh, over time. Uh, in this sense, I would try to make a case for a migration home nexus in the, in the, in the sense by, that by crisscrossing these two uh, research fields and these two areas of human I I experience, a better I I insight can be gained in general terms on migration studies on one hand. In, this, in, the, in, the, in the sense that talking of home is a way of highlighting what people are actually attached to, uh, how far they are able to feel in control of their life situation or otherwise. How is it that they position themselves, how distant or how far they feel vis-a-vis -vis non migrants, vis-a-vis -vis significant others, vis-a-vis -vis natives, and so forth. At the same time, by revisiting the social studies of home in terms of mobility, migration, and so forth, we can understood that we can better understand that home may be a matter of feeling well in a dwelling, but also in a public space, whatever it is. We can understand that feeling at home and making it is not only a matter of materiality, of uh, bricks and mortars, but also a matter of uh, emotions and feeling. We can understand that the very ideas that have to do with home are a form of uh, social remittance, something that uh, migrants bring themselves with their countries of, of origin and which they feedback uh, be, be between the two or more poles of their life ex ex experience. Having said this, what is specific of home for transnational migration studies in particular? The thing here is that uh, among the so many different ways we know of defining trans 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 transnationalism, one of them has exactly to do with home. When home to people means more than one country at the same time. So the, the powerful insight here is that there is no need to see the world as, as a matter of home on one hand and away on the other hand. That there may be combination, uh, intersections, multi-placements of home in different counties, whether the one of origins or destination or more. What do we mean by home anyway? This uh, potential to reenact it on several places and scales may have to do with the affiliations, with the relationships, with life projects. So, how is it that all of this, which is a typical ambitious and contentious statement of a transnationalist, can be assessed in practice? My argument would be that among the ways to uh, bring down the theoretical ideas to the empirical field, one of them has exactly to do with migrants dwelling places, houses, and ways of making themselves at home at large, more than has uh, already been done so far as a practical way to see how far it is true that the core idea of transnationalism, that whereas one is physically not there, one can be socially and emotionally there, how much this works in practice, to whom, under what conditions, and so forth. Uh, in other words, the thing is to see how, by studying migrants' homes and senses of home, we, we can see how it is that there are uh, emotions, memories, projections to, uh, for the future, fears or whatever else, are expressed materially in their 
living places in their material con conditions, in their way of inhabiting their space of everyday life, and so on. Second, how it is that different uh, places constructed as more or less homely interact with uh, e each other. And how is it that just focusing there, broader processes of social uh, transformation associated to uh, migration can be made sense uh, of. So the thing uh, here is that on the one hand, there is uh, for transnational migrants or anyway for transnational processes, a possibility to associate home also to something far uh, away in space, perhaps some, something far away in uh, time. At the same time, um, a bulk of research on this topic suggests that there is still a somehow fundamental need for migrants as much as for everybody to associate, to connect this sense of feeling at home to something hard, strong, material, to something that can be touched and experienced in their everyday lives, such as the migrant houses in the countries of uh, ori origin. And this materiality of home, even under circumstances of disembeddedness, of mobility, of whatever else, are also typically for migrants a long-term bio biographical aim, building better uh, dwelling con condition, having better houses to be transmitted to their children, as much as for uh, everybody, for, the, for that matter, and so forth. So there is a tension between the materiality and the immateriality, the dimension of home that is particularly clear here. Uh, how it is that uh, the relevance of uh, domestic and home spaces for transnational studies can be assessed in practice? The most obvious uh, response is, as usual, uh, ethnography, multi-site ethnography, as so many of us have uh, already done so well so many times. The thing is, there is something more to this uh, field in uh, particular, in the sense that one thing is to study migrants' houses as external spaces. All over the world we can see new so-called remittance houses that are typically perceived as out of places with the kinds of origins, as displayers of success, wealth, uh, of, or, or whatever else. The thing has, is how it is that more insight can be gained by getting access to the inside to the domestic experience of migrants themselves, to the ways in which the influence of other countries is enacted in everyday practices, in the ways of uh, using uh, living spaces, of decorating them, of uh, uh, distributing one's everyday life inside them, and so forth. Uh, the easiest way to uh, study this in practice is uh, to see how domestic objects are used, are symbolized, are uh, invested or over invested with meme, meanings, memories, and so forth. Uh, this is one part of the uh, equation. The other one, the most elusive one to me, is to see how domestic life is lived by migrants as much as by everybody else, as an elicitor on much broader and complex e e issues, and hopefully doing so over time going beyond single case study, but rather developing a broader comparative framework of uh, analysis. So, approaching the conclusion now, uh, the typical uh, uh, research terrain to study what home uh, means to migrants, how it shifts over time and so forth, has to do with exactly home visits, return patterns of uh, migration, cyclical <laughs> migration and so forth. Another lens that can be helpfully uh, be attached to the home one, in my view, has to do exactly with the social remittances. How it is that uh, uh, migrants in the countries of settlement bring uh, with them uh, their previous views, uh, values, cultures, or what a home should look like, and how is it that they, they in turn channel the predominant views of models of the country of settlement back to the countries of uh, origin. There is a more complex uh, question of uh, homemaking, of the variety of practices through which people try to feel at home in a place, as in actually not only here, uh, uh, here and now, in a household, by looking at uh, e e e each other in, in the eyes, but also over uh, a distance, also through phone communication, through ICT, through Facebook, or whatever else. And there is, again, in my view, a 
need a, a head for more of comparison across immigrant groups, immigrant profiles, across different dimensions of home, across different migration contexts, given that we all know that the structure of uh, opportunities, the policy regimes, and, and, and so forth, make a major difference to migrants' potential to enact transnational relationships, even if and where they wish to. So, to conclude uh, very briefly, there are, um, I think, uh, three or more points that can be developed further, but that are still out there. On the one hand, there is uh, a debate across social sciences on how it is that for more and more people, home is not necessarily only a place with four walls around it. It can be a sense of well-being, of security, of protection as associated to staying with some people, to some experience, to some circumstances, and so on. This is equally true for international migrants as much as for uh, every, everybody, but at the same time, there is, by delving to migrants' uh, biographies, to put it very bluntly, a need for some fixed, fixedness, for some anchor in uh, uh, place in materiality that should not go uh, 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 unnoticed in the current literature of uh, globalization of uh, whatever stuff around uh, the world. The, the second point to me is that having more homes and uh, often materially, literally more houses is not necessarily a nice matter of cosmopolitanism, of being a little here, a, li a little there, and so forth. It is also a potential stressor, a source of uh, costs, of constraints, of dilemmas between uh, different pressures, expectations, and life projects that needs also to be uh, uh, addressed. In other uh, words, there is also some reflection more to be uh, made here on the, I would call it, uh, dark side of uh, transnationalism in a certain, in a certain way. Uh, third, uh, in my view, the more the study of home is ingrained into everyday practices, the more it has to say on a variety of other forms of migrant transnational engagement uh, uh, at large. And I would be still a little bit more uh, uh, ambitious in saying that migrants' domestic spaces, Migrants' home cultures, the prevalent set of ideas, values, uh, arrangements that they associate to home, deserve to be studied not only for domestic scholars or whatever else, but because they are an ideal setting if uh, followed up with care for understanding much more of their prevalent uh, patterns over time of assimilation and or of transnational retention on one hand, or possibly over time of dissimulation vis-a-vis -vis their country of origin. So it is my argument that there is much more to be studied and ap ap appreciated to home for migrants, and I, ho I hope that the conversation may follow about this. Thanks. <laughs>